All right, so I've been a bass trombonist for quite a while, and I've, you know, um, I like pedals. That's kind of uh, in the job description for being a bass trombonist. And I was perusing a comment section of a trombone video at one point. Um, someone was bragging about ranges or something, and the topic of... Um, there's a tenor trombonist who capped at capped out at about uh, pedal B flat, um, which is super common um, for tenor trombonists, um, and it's kind of the inverse for a bass trombonist. Mo a lot of bass trombonists will cap out at you know like high F, uh, two larger lines, uh, I guess the above the second larger line above bass clef. Um, so we both have our problems, but um, I've had to do a lot of research into how to play good pedals on trombone in general, um, but especially on bass trombone, because that's kind of um, something I do more of than a tenor trombonist. Um, but there are a couple resources. First off, um, I think James Markey's video on playing pedals or playing low um, and Aiden Ritchie's Low and Loud, A Guide. I think both of those are really good resources and a lot of the stuff they talk about I'll be echoing. Um, but first off, kind of talking about what a pedal is just in case someone is not aware. Um, we know that all brass instruments work based off of the harmonic series. Um, so you have a fundamental which is what a pedal is. It's the fundamental of the harmonic series of that pitch of tubing. Um, and basically you have certain intervals above that that um, will kind of dictate what you're able to play. So for first position, you have pedal B flat, then you have B flat, then you have F, then you have B flat, and it goes up. And um, basically, pedal is just the bottom of that. And pedals kind of, they depend on the instrument. Like if you ask a trumpet player, pedals are not very easy to play um, because the bore size of an instrument and lots of different specifications um, will make pedals easier to play. But um, especially on bass trombone, it's really easy to do that. Um, but it's not that different to play on tenor trombone. Um, a lot of my tenor trombone buddies seem to think that because I play bass trombone, um, that's why I can play decent pedals. And, you know, I'm not going to say my pedals are amazing, but they're pretty good. And, um, of course, I'll ask for their instrument and their mouthpiece and play down to pedal F or whatever. And, you know, obviously my pedals kind of um, tap out on their instruments a little bit sooner. But, um, you know, all my tenor trombone friends have issues kind of past pedal B flat. Um, but one of the big things is what are you doing with your embouchure as you go down to pedals? What you don't want to do is turn into like a soggy sponge is kind of the way I think about it. Some people relax too much and I think ten this is kind of tenor trombonists um, conception when they go down the pedals is they just relax too much and it just sounds bad. And it'll kind of sound like the end. But you want it to be fairly similar to the rest of, um, like, especially like the B flat above it. It's not that much different. And like, you'll find this, especially as you just go down into the lower range of the trombone, you're not changing that much of your embouchure. different you should be able to um, keep your embouchure relatively the same there will be a slight change um, kind of in the shape of your oral cavity and things like that and you'll have to experiment with it um, because that's one of the things is that playing pedals um, <laughs> like everything in brass playing it's a very individual experience and it's not something where 
someone can say something that works perfect for everybody, um, which is kind of the magic of it because um, it makes for your own experience, but it also makes it challenging to teach. Um, but like you should just be able to and I, I do change my horn angle a little. It does angle up a little bit more, um, but it's very slight. It's almost more of my my head moving a little than the instrument really. Um, and that'll depend on whether you're an upstream or downstream player and your face shape and all sorts of stuff. But you can figure that out. But that's probably the first thing is not relaxing too much. Um, another thing is focus on the air. Um, it takes a lot of air to play pedals. And you can test that by, you know, seeing how long you can play a pedal for. Let's put a metronome on. And just see how long. Let's do just a low B flat. And that's about where I would stop. And then a pedal D5. Um, so it's quite a bit shorter. Um, so, you know, you have to think more about the airspeed than you need to think about the embouchure, really, in my opinion. Um, because just like a lot of other things on the trombone, the way you change pitches on a trombone is not by tightening or loosening your lips. That's a bad way of thinking about it. Really, your lips are just acting as a sort of funnel to control the airspeed. Part of that airspeed comes from here, and part of that comes from making a venturi with your mouth, like putting your thumb over a hose and making it go faster because the opening is smaller, but you have the same amount of pressure. Um, so it's all about airspeed, and all your embouchure is doing is restricting the airspeed and allowing you to change the way your air is flowing. So you need to think about supplying the right amount of air for a pedal. Um, because if you do, you can, you know, you can make them sound really big, um, but especially as you get down to lower pedals, it gets harder to make them sound louder because it takes more air. And this is something I still struggle with. is quite quiet um, and you know I could give all sorts of excuses for this not being the first time I've played today and stuff like that but that is still something I working on um, but um, you know that it's not a very common note but um, also it's just it's it's a learning experience for everybody um, and I'm not gonna pretend like I'm perfect um, but I think because I'm also um, kind of halfway through that phase of having perfect pedals. Um, I think I have a little bit to say. Um, in terms of some practice tips for getting good at pedals, um, I think one thing is doing lots of slurs in the low register. Not even in the pedals, um, but in the low register. And for trom like for tenor versus bass, it's going to kind of depend because like um, us bass players, we can do, um, you know, we can do uh, stuff with both of our triggers to get into that lower lower register where like if you're on a small bore tenor You'll just go straight from E to pedal B flat um, But either way um, some of these slurs in the low register are very nice um, Because what you want to get used to doing um, and I I told this to a friend of mine I was like just practice doing slurs in that low register and air attacks in the low register and you'll be surprised how much easier that pedal will feel because he would kind of get the pedal where it would go and it would kind of you know sound like some kind of yodel and it would kind of it would never really center you know 
obviously because I can play the pedal it's a little difficult to try not to um, but you know we've all been there at some point where the pedal just kind of you try to go down for it and it's just like you just can't find it it's like some wasteland um, but if you do slurs and air attacks in the low register it'll make it so much easier because you're forcing your embouchure to stay very similar. You're forcing, like, let's say you're going from B flat to F sharp. You're forcing your embouchure to connect between these two notes um, and realize that they are connected and they're not, just because they're a different part on the slide, they're still um, connected in kind of the same partial series and things like that. Um, and it also forces you to basically just focus on the air. And getting comfortable in this low register um, is going to help a lot in your pedals, especially on, on bass trombone, like low C area and like low D, low C can often be more difficult than pedals because of like the resistance and stuff like that. Um, and there's obviously some more resistance and some uncomfortabilities, especially like on a small bird tenor in like low F sharp, F and E kind of range. So it's important to get, um, sufficient in these areas. So maybe something like this would help. Eventually, you'll find that pedals will be a lot easier to play. Another thing is doing air attacks in those pedals. Um, you kind of make sure you've got that wet embouchure first off, but Air attacks are really good because they get your embouchure used to feeling what it's like to be in that register. I think too often um, we're used to like getting our instrument set on our mouth and getting like super tight and oh, and like, you know, kind of getting all middle schooly and bad. But there's some relaxation to be had and um, kind of getting your mouth used to the kind of um, position that it needs to be in is important. So you could alternate between tongued and air. And you'll hear there's a delay um, and that'll be smoothed out um, kind of just as you practice them more, admittedly, it has been a while for me. Um, but, you know, you'll do a couple of those air attacks, just kind of going down. And you'll hear them, they'll be very punchy. Um, and you'll be like, whoa, that's crazy. It sounds so punchy. And the reason that is, is because you're forcing yourself to use the amount of air to get the embouchure initiated. And that's the amount of air it takes to play the pedal. That's one of the most important things is you'll realize that you can't use the same air you use for like a low B flat. You have to use more. And especially for us bass trombonists, as you get to down to like um, the super low pedals, you'll feel that even more. But like doing those air attacks on like pedal F. It's going to 
gonna sound pretty rough at the beginning, um, but you're gonna realize you've got this um, like world of possibilities that opens up and you'll be able to get like some really nice pedals. <laughs> of some use i will leave the links to both james markey's video or videos on playing low i think there might be two um and also aiden richie's low and loud guide hope this was helpful see y'all